Hello again, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's whole food plant-based on a budget meal prep. And I think this meal prep is especially budget friendly. It's basically based on oats and potatoes and this week's theme is breakfast. On the menu this week is going to be some overnight oats, some sweet potato oatmeal cookies, a tofu scramble, and some roasted peppers and potatoes. So first thing I need to do is open up my Instant Pot because I see steamed a bunch of red skin potatoes earlier and I put one big sweet potato in there. These have been sitting in the Instant Pot for a little bit, so they are cooled down. I'm gonna pull those three big pieces of sweet potato out of there. That was one enormous sweet potato, so I'm gonna mash that up. I'm thinking it should be at least two cups. All right, sweet potatoes mashed. This one cup portion I'm going to set aside for when I make my overnight oats. And then this cup and a half I'm going to use to make my sweet potato oatmeal cookies, which I'm going to make the same way I do with oats and mashed banana. I'm just gonna do mashed sweet potato instead. looking a little bit dry. We'll see how it is after I add my maple syrup and my cinnamon. I might need to steal a little bit of that sweet potato that I set aside. I thought I was a little bit heavy-handed with the oats. I usually try to do a tiny bit less oats than the mashed whatever it is. Usually it's banana. But I didn't put any back so now we'll work with this. <laughs> that got incorporated pretty well. Let's see if it can handle some raisins. <laughs> I did just a tiny bit of water and I got those raisins mixed in and now I'm going to put them on the pan to cook up in my Ninja. 13, a baker's dozen. So I got my Ninja preheated to 400. I'm gonna do about nine minutes there. And before I put them in, I like to sprinkle them with this maple cinnamon sugar. I had this in my overnight oats last time I made them and it's so good. I think these cookies would also be good with dried cranberries, but I don't have any of those at the moment. Oh, these are gonna make the house smell like fall. Now I'm gonna get my tofu scramble going on the stove, starting with some diced peppers and onions. Normally I do this in a little bit of veggie broth, but I don't have any of that at the moment either. We'll do a little bit of water. Here is my tofu I have been pressing. I love how my tofu press makes that imprint. And look at all of the juice it drained out. Can you see that? I'm gonna dice these potatoes into cubes in preparation of them going into the Ninja as soon as the cookies are done. I have some other peppers diced up that I'm gonna do with these potatoes. Have that as a breakfast side with the tofu scramble. Once my onions and peppers are just a little bit soft is when I add my block of tofu. And then I have this handy little tool. I'm not even sure exactly what it's supposed to be for, but I use it as a tofu chopper. I will show you. Okay, I lied about prepping the potatoes next. I'm gonna finish adding everything else to the tofu scramble and get it seasoned up so that I can just put that on a simmer and forget about it for a moment. So I'm gonna do a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, a few scoops of these chipotle peppers, and then I have a can of corn and a can of black beans already rinsed, drained, ready to go, but I am going to start with some seasoning. 
And there's the cookies. OMG. Vegan Master Chef. <laughs> These smell so incredible. Oh my gosh, they look perfect. I'm pretty sure I showed this in a different meal prep. My sister and I went to the Indian market and got some really good cumin. So I'm gonna do this, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, actually I'm almost out of that, some chipotle powder. There's the scramble. I'm gonna set that to a simmer and cover, and then I will finish it off with some nutritional yeast. These cookies are perfection. I cannot wait to try one. So let's pull this out and get the potatoes ready to go on this tray. So here's my peppers. I'm thinking maybe like six potatoes to go with those, depending on how big they are. So I like this technique of either steaming the potatoes or like I pressure cooked these in the Instant Pot so that they're cooked so that I can dice them up and then they get roasted in the Ninja and I just, they get nice and crispy. I just love it. I'll show you them once they're done. Alright, time to put the potatoes and peppers in. Going to do about 15 minutes at 400. Alright, let's check on the scramble. I turned it off, but I might need to put it back on low and let a little bit of this juice simmer out of it. Add some nutritional yeast. I like a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I love this recipe. I have not made this in so long. Okay, I need two hands. <laughs> All right, the potatoes have just under 10 minutes to go. Let's get these oats mixed up in the meantime. So I have a little bit less than a cup of oats in each one of these. One of them is going to get a banana, and one of them is going to get this cup of sweet potato that I have. And then I really like to do my overnight oats with yogurt instead of plant milk. And this is left over from the last time I made overnight oats, so this should be just about two cups. This should be perfect to split in between the two that I have. And then a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of cinnamon in each one. And when I eat them, I usually add a little bit more of that cinnamon sugar maple mix that I did earlier on top of the cookies. Actually, I might even have a cookie right on top of the sweet potato oats. OMG, that's going to be a good meal. <laughs> All right, the oats are ready to be overnighted. I will have to let you know how they turn out. I have very high hopes. 
potatoes have just a minute left. I already have a little serving of tofu scramble cooling on a plate. Let's sample one of these bad boys. OMG. Thinking this one. Nice brown on the bottom. You could cook them longer if you wanted them crispier, which I, I like them both ways. Oh, there's the potatoes. 10 out of 10. They could be a tiny bit crispier for just my personal preference, but this is such a good cookie texture and the raisins. Mmm. I've done baked oatmeal with sweet potato, but I have never made my cookies with sweet potato instead of banana. These are going to like some Thanksgiving places or like a Halloween party or something. Anywhere I need a fall festive treat. Potatoes and peppers, these smell amazing. I just did chipotle powder and garlic powder on them. I'm gonna get a little scoop of these to sample. I meant to stir the potatoes and peppers halfway through and I just forgot because I was doing my oats or whatever. So they are pretty crispy on the bottom and yeah, they're gonna be good. But let's let them cool down for a second and let's try the tofu scramble. I haven't had this in so long. Yum. And I do have the black salt. I could have tried to give this a little more of an eggy flavor, but I really like this just like taco style. Oops. Tofu scramble flavor is great. It just needs a little hot sauce, in my opinion. Let's try a potato and a little burnt pepper. Peppers and potatoes are delightful. Need a little hot sauce, maybe a little ketchup or maybe just a bite of tofu scramble. Another 10 out of 10, vegan master chef. So delicious. All I need is a little bit of stir fry veggies to go along with some of these meals, which I was planning on making today, but then thought about cleaning the Instant Pot to steam the veggies and thought, I'll just do that on the side, so. If you watch my what I eat in a day video that I'm sure is going to be following this meal prep, I'll probably have some stir fry veggies in there. This scramble, so good. So that will wrap up this whole food plant-based on a budget meal prep. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe and be well. The light's been on for like two minutes. I just hit the button. How did you know I hit the button? But you're being so cute. Look at you in the new day bed area. It's still in progress, but do you love it? Are you mad because I shut the window? The kids are being loud. Look at that sweetness. That sweet face. My boy. Okay, I'm trying to film a YouTube video, buddy. A tofu, this is sounding boring. And some roasted pep, peppers and potatoes. Got it. Along with a tofu, tofu, <sighs> tofu. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, hello, Penny. Oh boy. Whoopsie. Looking a little dry, that's why I usually try to go, um. It's looking a little dry. I say it's, uh. It's looking a little bit dry. I'm gonna see what happens. Oops, that's what we'll do. Cinnamon, I just rip. <clears throat> now she speaks. Big stretch. Big stretch! <laughs> you gonna do a big stretch? Or is that your begging paw? That's your begging paw? You guys. 
You think if you team up that I'll give in. I did not even mean for your new bowls to match the yoga mats so well, but the universe did. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Dude. Can I cut all of that? All right. Mm. I did just a, oops. <laughs> I thought this pan was clean. What did I cook in this pan? I love how my tofu press makes the imprint. Oops, it's upside down. I love how my tofu pre press I'm gonna dice these potato. <laughs> Penelope, Penelope Jane. <laughs> Put them in the pressure cooker and. <clears throat> so here's my peppers, we'll see. So here's my peppers, I'm thinking like four to six potato. <clears throat> Yes, my dear. The cuteness, the cuteness. Shh. Shh. Oats mixed up while those get. And then we can go to no sound. What I eat in a day. That batch was three. Um. Until next time, 